All right, we got our new Ninja Foodie Flip Toaster here. I'm gonna do the unboxing for you real quick. And then we can, here's the manual and all the warranty information and stuff. Looks like it comes with a pretty thick manual, so. So far, go ahead. So right away it tells me that this is a baking tray. Looks like the handle screws right onto it. Maybe. Okay, it makes a really loud sound when you're screwing it in, but anyways, this is some type of baking tray that goes in here, but Okay, go through the manual a little bit more. Okay, I literally went through the instructions very quickly. Some more light over here. So, this is the oven part. You want it sitting down with the ninja label facing up. All you do is pull the toaster dough back. You're going to be baking with stuff on this tray. Obviously, it's not very big, but you can fit some little stuff in there. That's how big it is compared to my hand. A little over two hands. So, and if you want to toast, you're going to be flipping it up just like so. And then it probably looks like it will work like a normal toaster. But we'll get it plugged in and fire it up for you and show you how it works. Alright, I've got it flipped up on the toaster side. It's got little hinges here that actually hold it if you flip it up or down. See if I can do it real quick before I turn the power on. Yeah, it pretty much just rolls right over. It's got a little hinge there. I'll show you this hinge while I'm rolling it back over. Just like so. There you go. I am going to start out with the toaster function. Here's the power panel. I'll zoom in a little bit for you there. I'm gonna hit power and then. It's got an adjustment for how dark you want it toasted. Looks like it goes from seven all the way down to one. I'm gonna go with about a three. I know the, the toast that I use. I didn't even read the instructions for the toaster. That's how easy it is to use. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. So I've got the shade on three, it's on toast. It's got button, buttons you can push for bagel or toast. I'm doing toast. I'm gonna go over here and slide it down, see what happens. See if it's easy enough to toast without reading the instructions. Oh, it's actually counting down there. I'm not gonna torture you and make you watch, but it looks like it takes a little over two minutes to toast. That even I use Ezekiel whole grain sprouted, uh, sprouted grain bread. I believe it's the healthiest, if not the only healthy bread that you can buy out there. So, like I said, I'm not going to torture you and make you watch. I'll come back right before it's about to pop up. See how it goes. Okay, so I missed getting a pop-up on camera, but as you can see, there's definitely some brown on them. This sprouted grain bread toasts pretty easy. That's why I put the shade on the... Oh, I believe it was on four. Let me check real quick. Should Probably should have put it on three. Anyways, this is Ezekiel whole grains bread. Tastes really good, toasted and I'm gonna put some peanut butter and honey on it. And it's sugar-free peanut butter, so you can absolutely make some really quick, healthy foods with this Ninja Flip toaster. Now that I'm done with the toaster, I'm gonna to go ahead and turn it off. And then I'm just gonna flip it while you're watching here on camera. You literally just, it's got really good suction. You just flip it right over and you can go right to the baking. I've got the baking pan right here. Which, uh, to slide it in, you have to pull the toaster lever back. Then you just slide it right in. So I'll go get something to bake. All right, I'm gonna start with baking first. It says, cook even evenly with manual temperature adjustment settings. Bake times are often faster than expected, so keep an eye on your food. It says, bake chart, page 14. So if I roll over to 14, you can pretty much just go off this bake chart and estimate. I'm going to be doing jalapeno poppers, so I'm going to compare them to pizza rolls here. 
it actually says 18 pieces, eight ounces. You're supposed to cook it at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. No, that's uh, mozzarella sticks. Yes, no, I was right. No, 15 to 20 minutes. If you look at the back of the, I've got some TGI Fridays poppers here. So if you cook those in the flip toaster, just to compare on the box, it says 450 degrees, but it says eight minutes. So it's really not too much different. It does say to keep an eye on your food and flip them halfway through. So I'm just gonna pull this out, open up these poppers real quick. Trying to keep this fast for you guys, just to show you how simple it is. So you don't get bored. Straight around, show you how many I can fit on. That one's got some cheese showing through, so I have to save that one. Okay, I said I did already wash the uh, baking tray before I used it the first time here. I'm just gonna really pack them in there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got 12 of them in there. Okay, I got all my poppers on here and then I'm going to slide it into the oven. You have to make sure this slides all the way in into the lock position. Then I'll turn it on. I am going to click on the bake button and then hit start. Open to 450 degrees. Bake for eight minutes, turn them over and then an additional seven minutes. Turn it on. Temp comes up first, it doesn't go above 400. Then you hit start, and then the time pops up. And I am just gonna put it all the way down to 400. about seven minutes. I'm gonna bake it for seven minutes, and then I will flip them over and see how they look. You can see the orange popped up, so it is actually baking. Like I said, you just wanna make sure it locks into place. I locked it in place before I turned it on, so I will come back when they're ready to flip over. Okay, so I believe I've set it on seven minutes. I checked it a couple times because I've never used this before. It's still got a minute left. Um, I definitely recommend having a pot holder because it gets a little hot on top here. And it's really easy to check the food. I put this drying mat down since this pan probably gets pretty hot. And I've just been checking them. All you do is pull it right back out, pop it right back in to keep an eye on it. And you can see that it'll start counting down. It starts baking again right away. So just wanted to throw that little note in there. Okay, they are done with the first round. You could probably put more time on there now that I know how to use it and then just pull it out and flip them over. But this way the little alarm went off after seven minutes anyways. And I know right away that I have to flip them over. Let me turn this around so you can see. They're just barely brown on the bottom, so. I did say to spray the uh, pan with non-sticking spray, but I think it depends on what you're cooking. These obviously are not gonna stick. It's a non-stick little pan anyway, so. I flipped them over, they're already a little brown, so. I'm probably just gonna put them in for seven more minutes since the chart was for pop popcorn chicken or something. I don't know. Anyways. All you do is go back over here, just click on bake, temp's already on 400, hit start, then your time pops up. I'm just going to go down to 7 minutes and should finish it. Once you're on your time, hit start, and there you go. And then it does say to keep checking your food, probably check them in 2 or 3 minutes just to be on the safe side. Like I said, all you do is pop it out, check them and pop it right back in and it keeps going. All right, it's all finished. I can hear them sizzling inside. I did check them again just to be on the safe side. This is all very easy. Just kind of lift up and pull it out gently. It was pretty close to the instructions on the bag for a normal oven, except this thing only goes up to 400 degrees. The box asked for 450 degrees. And I baked them for like seven minutes on each side, even though the box said to bake them for Oh, seven minutes on one side, flip them over and bake them for eight minutes. But uh, as I'm looking through them here, they're, you could probably cook them for another minute, but they're pretty crispy already. And 
They're a little golden brown, but yeah, it's pretty close to the instructions on the box. Minus 50 degrees cook time and a minute, so. The cheese is melted and they are toasty brown, so I'm... Okay, I was gonna try these uh, French bread pizzas in the uh, Ninja Flip toaster also. <clears throat> it's kind of different for any kind of toaster oven. It says to heat one of them in the microwave first for like a minute. And then you're supposed to bake it. So we'll go ahead and get that popped in the microwave. Minute and 10 seconds, minutes close enough. And I was just gonna show you, unfortunately, it is that small that I'm only gonna be able to heat one of them. I'm be kind of pushing it with two in there. All right, this is a little bit weird, but I did heat it in the microwave for one minute. The pizza's already real, pretty soft. The cheese didn't quite start to melt though, so. I'm going to follow the instructions. I'm going to turn it on, hit bake. It said preheat oven to 425 degrees, toaster oven to 400. So I'm going to go ahead and we can only go up to 400 on this, anyways. I'm going to hit start. And then it says bake for 8 to 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the whole 10 minutes here. So I'll just hit minus on the time. There's 8 minutes start and I'll probably check it after now that I've used it once I've got a pretty good feel for it so probably just check it right at seven minutes okay so I did check it after I got 224 left to go it's getting a little toasty so unfortunately I am going to have to call it done but on a good note it is done it's a little crispy so should have checked it a little bit more, but as you can see, it's still great. Li little toasty, but uh, on a good note, it did not take very long to cook. I mean, it only took me to pop it in the microwave for a, a minute, and you could probably pop it in here for four minutes. You could check it after four minutes, it might be done. You might have to leave it in there for another half a minute to a minute. And that's all we're going to show you with the Ninja Flip toaster. Uh, just wanted to show you its size and how it works and everything. It's definitely got our, our stamp of approval, especially if you live in an apartment or something, uh, or a camper, any any small space, um, any of these multi-cookers. If you can get a multi-cooker, you can see our Ninja Foodie sitting over there. It does like, who knows, 7 to 15 different functions. I can't remember, but these multi-cookers are great for small living spaces says you can reheat too. Reheat leftovers with even heat from top to bottom. It's got a picture of some pizza slices. I don't know if I mentioned with the uh, toaster, you can also toast bagels. It's got a bagel setting and a defrost setting for toasting frozen foods. It looks like uh, frozen waffles and whatnot. So there you go. You can bake, broil, reheat, toast. Regular toast, toast bagels, and use the toaster for defrosting. And it's definitely a pretty good multi-purpose. It does say to clean the crumb tray regularly. I don't think there's much else to it. It's a pretty simple device to use. Um, like I said, if you get one for the first time, make sure you constantly check your food if you're baking, just until you get used to it.